indifferent to what's going on outside. Yeah, you get this part? Indifferent to what's happening outside because you're focused on one point within yourself. That's where the light comes. That's where you're deriving your power. If your attention starts going outside, looking for it outside of yourself, you're in deep shit. And you suffer. Because it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. So use this opportunity, recognize what's going on in the world because it's a divine setup. The entire thing has been set up by God for the few on this planet at this time who are ready to wake up to divert their attention inwards. and stay still and focus. You're still. And then it starts to take over. How are you doing, Connie? I can't hear you. You have to unmute yourself. I'm good. I'm very good. And I like what you are talking about. But uh, it can be a little difficult in between not to be uh, involved in what's going on outside. I mean, you can have a very close relation and something is going on and the emotions are popping up and yeah. But my experience is that, that it's more easy for me now to get rid of it than maybe 10 years ago. But it takes time to learn it. Yes, and you're doing a good job. You're showing up, you're listening, you're alert, you're putting the time, and you're getting the points. Yeah. And that's all you can do. Yeah. And recognizing, recognize one thing is that you're not the one who's doing it. It's, it's God's choice, God's will for you to awaken. Yeah. The same energy, the same force that brought you into this world. Yeah. Because you didn't create this world. When you were born, you could not take care of yourself. Someone else had to take care of you. Yeah. Something has brought you to where you're at right now. Yeah, I agree. So that same thing that's brought you to here, that same thing that gave you this feeling that you are an individual, you are a person is the same force that slowly is showing you nothingness, showing you. Yeah, but. But? But going to nothingness 
and to to get rid of the ego i mean you need in my experience i need to have an ego to to function in this world i mean i can't function without an ego well have you ever functioned without an ego only when i sleep i think mm -hmm. So you don't know what it's like functioning in a world without an ego because you've never been there. No. Okay, so your mind is the same ego brings this fear that you need blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that, okay? No, but, yeah, I can tell you, I had an experience 20 years ago and it was really, it was really, out in a space where there was, I was, I was without a form. I was out, I was without anything. And it was a kind of scaring. I was a little anxious about it. And then I came back, you know. Right. Yeah. So what took you into that experience? And what brought you out of that experience? That I can't tell you. Right. So trust that which is functioning through you by breathing in, breathing out, by bringing you here, by bringing you peace, that which is doing it is going to take care of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need to get ahead of yourself. Just practice. Be quiet. Yeah. As you've been doing it, right? Yeah. Are you taking time to be quiet? Yeah. Yeah. And since you've been doing that, do you feel a difference in the quality of your life? Much more. I feel much more peace inside. Yes. And it's more easy to just, um, to just look what's going on without taking it in, just to accept what's going on. I mean, all this, for example, all this uh, COVID, uh, it doesn't bother me so much. I mean, I'm just, yeah, it's going on and yeah. I'm not afraid of it and I'm not uh, upset about all the restrictions. So, yeah. No. Uh, so you're doing, you're on the right path. You can see the difference. Very much. Yeah. So stay on the course. Yeah. Don't worry about if I get to this place, I lose my ego, what's going to happen, blah, blah, blah. That's another thought. Yeah. Which is created by the ego itself. Yeah. So don't worry about any of these things. Just no. continue what you're doing. If it's good to you, it's good for you. Yeah. 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 Good job. Happy. I'm glad that you shared your thoughts and your feelings with me. Stay on the course. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just keep going. Be patient. It's got its own way of doing it. For each, every person is different. Just keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So does the joy come then from after taking the silence and doing the inner work, being able to witness the absurdity of the illusion? Like, is that part of when you say God's giving us the opportunity to wake up? Maybe if we feel like we were already awake and understanding that this is illusion, just laughing, being able to laugh at the extreme absurdity that maybe it's taking certain individuals for that much absurdity to realize that this is an illusion or right the, okay. is, that's a great question the same creator who has created this whole thing 